Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create an image zoom hover effect in your Squarespace website. Now I am using my 7.1 demo site for this tutorial, but all of the codes I'm using today will also work in Squarespace 7. So older sites like Brine or Bedford that you might be using, this code will totally still work for yours as well. Now all the codes I'm using today are listed in the description beneath the video, but I'd love to show you how to use them step by step so you understand what to change to get this effect on your own website, okay? So let's hop into my demo site and take a look at how this works. So here we are in my demo site and I'll scroll down. I actually have all types, all six types of images listed here on the page. We have an inline image, poster, overlap, card, collage, and stack. We're gonna isolate each one of those individually using these codes today, okay? So everything we're doing is custom CSS. So I need to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. This is where we'll be pasting the code. Now you'll notice here, I've actually set up a subtitle for each one of these images. That subtitle is the code name that we're gonna use in CSS to isolate that particular type of image. Let's go ahead and start with inline. To do this code, we're going to say sqs-block-image, then add a space, and we need to identify the layout. So we're gonna say design layout inline. All right, now next up, we need to make sure that what we're doing with this zoom in effect only happens to the image, not the entire thing with the text and the, all of that stuff. So we're gonna add the text IMG. That's saying, all righty, this is just happening to the image. Following so far? Awesome. Let's add an open bracket. And here I'm going to say transform scale 1.2. All right, now what we're doing there, oops, I spelled that one wrong. There we go, transform scale 1.2. And look at that, that pineapple just zoomed in already. But you'll notice just the image did, not the entire block. If I remove those three letters for IMG, we're gonna get the whole thing bigger and that's not what we want. So I'm gonna add IMG back there. So it's just going to scale the image inside that block. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Now, how do we make this a hover effect? Normally, we just add the colon symbol and the word hover, but that's not gonna work in this code. We have to add it in a very special spot. We have to add it after we've identified the layout, but before the text IMG, because we want this hover effect to happen when someone hovers anywhere over that entire block. So I'm gonna add hover before the space IMG, and now when we hover over it with our cursor, we'll get that zoom in effect. Now there's one other thing I wanna add here, and that is to slow down the transition. I personally am not a fan of it clicking in really fast and just instantly going into the zoomed in version. I like a slower transition there. So I'm gonna add a semicolon, and I'm going to say transition and three S. I'm just gonna say three S for three seconds, okay? So let's go through this code again. We've said SQS block image, so the computer knows we're working with an image. And then we've said design layout inline. This code is only for the inline images. And then we've said hover. This code will only apply when we hover over that inline image. And then we said take the image itself and scale it up 1.2 or 120%. And we've said take three seconds to do it. Pretty interesting, complicated code. Let's see how this works. I'll hover over and look at that smooth zoom. Isn't that pretty? Now check it out. We'll highlight over any of the other images and we're not getting anything happening. That's because we've isolated just the inline image. Now, if we change the word inline in our code to the word card, now when we hover over that card image, we're gonna get the zoom effect. What about stack? I'll change the word card to stack and check it out. The stack image is gonna get that zoomed effect. Pretty neat. Now, one thing I'd like to point out is you'll notice with the stack and the card image here, we're actually having the image expand past the edge of the block that it had before. How do we hide that? That we need to identify in a whole new line of code. We're gonna repeat the same name for this image block. We're gonna say sqs-block-image, and we're gonna say design-layout-stack, and then we're gonna open up a bracket and say overflow hidden exclamation point important. Now I've added the exclamation point important so the browser will prioritize my code over whatever else is on the site. So now when we hover over that image, it's gonna stay inside that block. 
All right, so let's go ahead and try this with overlap, shall we? Let's replace the word stack with overlap and replace it there and replace it there and let's see what happens. Overlap image stays inside its little block, but we still get the zoom in effect. So again, it's really important that you identify the type of image that you're trying to isolate. You're gonna start the code with sqs-block-image, and then you're gonna add the design layout or specify the design layout. So design layout inline or overlap or poster, or whatever the name of the image is in your particular code. But no matter what image you decide to focus on, just select save when you're done and that code will apply to your website. So that's it for this tutorial. A lot of codes today. All of them are in the description beneath the video. But if you'd like to learn more about images besides just some zoom hover effects, I have a ton of free tutorials and other image filters listed over on my site at insidethesquare.co forward slash image. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash image. There you can find a bunch of different free codes and more tutorials just like this one. Thank you again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.